Tuesday morning. I just had to give the dogs a treat because they're very interested in my ham I have here. So anyway, uh, good Tuesday morning. It's back to work. Our days off went by super fast. So anyway, Maddie's not feeling well. She's a little under weather. She's got an old fashioned cold. So I have this leftover ham. If you didn't watch that video, um, go back and check it out. I did Sunday dinner on Monday because Sunday we weren't available to do it. I baked this beautiful ham I got for $7 and a quarter on sale. I'm gonna freeze that ham bone later for some pinto beans. So anyway, so she's not feeling good. One of her favorite things is potato soups. I thought I would do a creamy potato and ham soup for her. We all like potato soup, so it's a win-win for everybody. So inside of my pot here, I have eight peeled, washed, and sliced, however you wanna slice them. I like to quarter them in different sizes. You know, you want bite-sized pieces, but um, you know, you don't want them so tiny they cook away, as my mom used to say. So um, I always have a tough time figuring out how many potatoes to peel. So my method that I use is two potatoes per person, and that seems to work out. So I've got eight, there's four of us tonight, so that's eight potatoes. Also in here I have a quarter of an onion chopped and sliced and two stalks of celery. Now, if you don't want onion or you don't want celery, leave it out. You could add some celery salt or celery seed. I just really like the taste of that celery in a soup when it's good for you. So um, this is a something that my grandma and my mom taught me growing up and I'm gonna do it today. So I have this in my pot. I'm not gonna do anything to it except for add for some salt, okay? And then I'm gonna add just enough water to cover it, cover those potatoes, onions, and celery. Just like that, just enough water to cover this. I'm gonna put a lid on it, I'm gonna put it on the back of my stove. And my mom and my grandma always did this, either before church or before a big meal, like Thanksgiving or Christmas, they would go ahead and peel and slice their potatoes and they would soak them in water like this until they were ready to cook them. That way the hard part was over. I've always done that. They've done it for generations. No one's died. It's just the potatoes soaking in water. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna put it back in my stove. So when I get home from work, all I have to do is start it, that boiling process. And we're gonna boil it just like this with just that little bit of water to cover it. Cause we're gonna add milk and some other fun things. Now my ham, I am not leaving out on the counter. I'm just gonna put this in a baggie. I just went ahead and diced it up for the soup. I'm gonna put this in the baggie and put it in the fridge. And that's it for right now for the first part of the soup. Now look at my shirt. Have you, have you ever heard of um, Tavon Dillard? He's like a comedian and he doesn't know me. I don't know him. I mean, I'm not endorsing him or anything, but he cracks me up because the stories he tells sounds like my family or this or the small town I live in. And it cracks me up. And he talks about his Mall. I think it was his Mall going down to the beauty parlor and it says early bird gets the perm. So if they got there early, then they got to get their perm first. So that story cracked me up and he sells merchandise. So I had to get one of these shirts that says early bird gets the perm hilarious so anyway check him out he's hilarious it's clean you know just funny stories anyway i enjoy it and that's why my shirt says early bird gets the perm and it's got a little perm anyway okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna finish getting ready for work and when i come back this afternoon we are going to finish this dd wow krista this delicious creamy ham and potato soup what a mess today, aren't I? Hey friends, I want to show you this real quickly. Madison started this for me because uh, she's home, but I want you to see that there's uh, potatoes set there. They're not brown. Sitting there while I was at work, they did great. So we're gonna get this on and we're going to, uh, at this stage, boil those until they are fork tender. And then I'll be back to show you what we're gonna do to the soup. We're back at the potatoes, celery, and onions. I'm getting a steam facial, or fork tender. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in that ham from yesterday. I'm gonna add in a can of cream of mushroom soup. You could add cream of chicken if you want. I just think the cream of chicken, um, 
I mean, the cream of mushroom would go better with the ham today. So give that a quick stir. This is a creamy potato soup, and that cream of mushroom soup is gonna help give that a creamy texture. There we go, we got that ham in there. Look at that, and also to that, we're gonna add one cup of milk and one and a half cups of heavy cream. Now, if you don't have heavy cream, you could do all milk, be just fine. We're gonna give that a stir. I'm gonna check for salt, see if I need to add anything as far as that's concerned. A little bit of broth here. Just a tad, I'm gonna add some pepper, of course. We like lots of pepper. I'm just gonna add a splash of salt. There we go. I'm gonna set this back on the burner to get incorporated and our soup is almost done. So the soup is all ready. It got thick and creamy. There it is. Go. My family like to add cheese to it later. I don't like cheese of mine, but they do. There we go. Piping hot. Give it a taste, that leftover ham. Hopefully this will make Maddie feel better. Mm. Quick and easy, 30 minutes, get all of this done, time to eat. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for stopping by guys.